Welcome back to EPM Org, Evangelist Pilgrim Missions. I hope everyone has had a wonderful and peaceful week on our journey with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us take a moment to pray. Heavenly Father, we are gathered here today to worship your everlasting love, a love so strong that you gave your only begotten Son for our sins. Lord Jesus, watch over our family, our church family, our friends, our community, our great state, our country, and the plant that you created, Lord. Be in our presence today, Lord, and touch someone's heart, Lord, that is in desperate need to feel your healing touch and presence today. As we lift our hands to you today, Lord, embrace our worship for you on this very day, for there is no other God greater than you. For this we pray today, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus we pray today. Amen. Today's message is titled, The Saving Gospel. The saving gospel is the good news that Jesus died for our sins, was buried and rose again. We obey the gospel by repentance, death to sin, water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ's burial, and the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the initiate sign of speaking in tongues as the Spirit gives us utterance in resurrection. Grace is not a right, but a gift from the Lord. In 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begins at us, what shall the end be of those that obey not the gospel of God? If God didn't forgive sinners, heaven wouldn't would be empty. Jesus remembered a church or just remember a church is a hospital for the sinners, not a museum for the saints. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 through 4, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand by which also ye have are saved, if ye keep in memory that I preached unto you, unless ye have been believed in vain. For I decided or delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scripture and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to Scripture. In the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 4, And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak in other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. Continuing on in chapter 2 of Acts, in verse 37 through 39, now when they heard this, they were pick, pricked to, in their heart, and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remissions of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you, and to your children, and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. In the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 3 through 4, Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death, and therefore we were buried with him by baptism into death, like Christ was raised from dead by the glory of the Father, 
even so we also should walk in newness of life. You are created by God to make a difference in the world. So along your journey on earth to make that difference in this world have God created us to do. We must give our weakness to God and he'll give us his strength. Amen. Until next time, God bless.